it goes. My dong looks huge. <laughs> Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Jeff from Achievement Hunter, and welcome to Awu. I don't know where the number is. It's around here somewhere. Number 48. For the week of January 31st, 2011. I'll find it. Special thanks goes out to Phillips Hen Walgren for that intro. I think that's your name. Okay, everybody, so it's kind of a weird week this week. We don't really have any retail releases, but we do have a major map pack, and that's the Call of Duty First Strike map pack, which is going to... Mac pack. Map pack. Bat, bat, bat. Red buggy bumpers. Bat. Fuck, dude. First Strike map pack comes out this week with achievements. All the achievements are zombie-related, and on the Ascension map, I believe, but there's other maps in that as well, and I'm sure everybody's going to play it, and I'm sure we'll make some videos of it, so... <whistles> bat, bat. Bionic Commando Rearmed comes out this week. That's an arcade game. Da -da 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 -da. That the uh, Rock Band Standalone Country Pack number two comes out, Jack. I know you're gonna be all over that. Huge fan of the country songs. I think it's got like 21 songs on it or something. I don't. It's probably got some Garth Brooks. As a matter of fact, I said fuck it. I gave it my achievement of the week. That that that. Hell yeah. I'm gonna give the uh, Wild Desire, which is to five star Ring of Fire on hard. Or harder. Why did I give that the achievement of the week, Jack? Because you gotta give props to the man in black. And I'm not talking about the man in black from Lost Highway, the David Lynch film, or Lost. I'm talking about specifically Johnny Cash. You know, that guy who was uh, like the old version of Trent Reznor to you people, probably. That's how they would know him, right? <laughs> <laughs> he sang that Trent Reznor song that was popular. And uh, that's pretty much it. Not a big week this week, so fuck it. I guess you can have Jack now. So as far as news goes this week, couple cool things. Uh, first of all, Sony just recently announced officially the PSP2, which is being codenamed the NG or next gen portable. There's not a proper name for it yet, but uh, it looks pretty crazy. It's got two analog thumbsticks and they showed off some cool stuff. They showed off a uh, Uncharted game, but it's not done by Naughty Dog. So uh, anyway, it looks neat and um, we'll, we'll see. We got 3DS and now PSP2. So we'll see who wins that battle. Also announced last week is QuakeCon, which is id's, uh, well, I don't know if it's officially id, but it's the, the convention that started around the video game Quake and has now expanded to all kinds of crazy stuff. Usually id shows off some neat things there. They'll probably show some rage and a few few other things. Rage the game, not the um, the emotion. That, that, that. But that's going to be August 4th in Dallas, Texas, because it is based out of Mesquite, Texas, which is near Dallas, Texas. That's and last but not least, uh, one really, really big announcement came out. Angry Birds 2 is coming in March. It's actually called Angry Birds Rio, which is, it's themed around this new animated movie called Rio, which is, I think it's, it's a Fox animated feature. I'm sure Jeff will have something to say about it. Her name is Rio and she dances on the 1980s. That's a Duran Duran song for you kids who uh, don't know what the 80s were. Anyway, it's going to be themed around that movie. It's going to be like Novio and Fox are working on it, and we'll have a release for the game in March, and the movie comes out, I think, in April. So, you know, I'm excited. More Angry Birds. There's a trailer out. It's pretty cool. All right, that does it. So, we're wrapping up January, moving right along in 2011. Hope you're having fun. See you next time. See you next week. Her name is Rio, and she dances on the sand. 1980s.